Hey everyone, this is Alex Dunn with another quick Xamarin tip. This is going to be our last installment of the calling platform specific code from a portable class library set of videos. Uh, in this one, we're just going to be combining all four of the practices we looked at prior uh, into one app. So we're going to talk about our, our singleton method, our dependency service from Xamarin Forms, uh, using a service locator, using MVVM Lite, and then also using full dependency injection. And we're just going to combine all four of those into one app and show that you can use all four of them together uh, in, in, in situations where it might be easier or make more sense uh, based on your project structure. So if you haven't seen any of the previous videos, I would suggest looking at those because this is really just combining all four of them into one. Uh, the source code is up on GitHub at the following link. And then I've also linked to the Hockey App SDK since, again, that's the tool we're going to be using for our platform-specific code. So over in Visual Studio, we just finished doing our dependency injection. Uh, so we still have our hockey service in iOS. We've uncommented our dependency registration since we're going to need to use that again. We're also going to want to go back and uncomment some other pieces here. So we go back here, we're going to want to uncomment that and also uncomment that and back in our code behind here we're going to go add three different click events so we're going to create those methods here and we're just going to copy this so, so we don't have to retype all that change the names after Oops. So for our singleton one, we're going to be calling the hockey manager dot current dot get feedback. For our service locator, we're going to call service locator dot current. Actually, we should call our locator service new locator service dot hockey service dot get feedback. And the dependency service is going to call the Xamarin Forms dependency service. Get I hockey service get feedback. So now let's head back to our page and we're going to want to make more buttons here. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put these in a stack layout. to center this. Now let's copy our button. And now we'll call Singleton feedback we'll call this service dependency service feedback.
service locator feedback. And we'll just rename the last one to dependency injection feedback. So now let's clear out these commands. We'll add the click events. And we'll just double check my spelling real quick. Oh, yeah, I did mess up on that. It should be called singleton clicked. Now let's just double check all our other services are playing well together. So our locator, our locator service still has everything set up. Our view model is still registered. Our platform IOC is set up. We're still using the dependency service up here. We still have our singleton set up. I think one thing we're going to have to do is go back to the app delegate and uncomment some code here. Yep. So we're going to set the singleton there. We're registering our IOC service and then we're knitting. So now we should be able to run this and see all four of those buttons able to work and they should all essentially do the same thing. They should all call down to our hockey service get feedback uh, just all in each of their own ways. So let's run this and make sure everything works. So now that we're running it again, you can see all four of our buttons. Uh, we can run the feedback using our singleton, using the Xamarin Forms dependency service, using an MVVM light based service locator, and then using a dependency injection with our MVVM binding. So if we click each of these, they should each pop up our feedback manager. So there's your singleton, dependency service, service locator, and dependency injection. So all four of those, all within the same app as well. It's not like you really have to pick just one. Uh, all seem to play pretty well together if set up properly. So you can use all four of these patterns, or you can come up with some of your own. But that's going to be it for now. Uh, thank you for watching and following along with all five of these videos. Uh, and stay tuned for more training videos and blog posts.